Hi, welcome back. So, this is my part two of the FX8G. So, I've flown it a few times, I've had a play with it in wind, in a windy-ish condition, sort of like 6-7 mile an hour, on, on a totally still day. Um, at the end of this video you're going to see the flight footage. Uh, I've also shot it with my GoPro so you can see how stable it is in the air. That was the calm day, you see the stability in. And the flight footage has got a bit when it was calm and a bit when it was windy. So, what are my impressions of this drone? Well, if you skip ahead to the video, you're probably going to guess what I'm about to say. The video image looks no different whether it's blowing a gale or whether it's a perfectly still day. The camera has absolutely no effort to stabilise the video. So, if you've got the slightest bit of movement, this, ex this makes it look ten times worse. And I, and I really do mean that. It's probably the worst jello I've ever seen on one of these. The picture quality doesn't actually look that bad if they could kill the jello. Now I could try and manufacture something to mount this myself on some rubber mounts, make a little um, 3D print a little bracket, and I could probably get it a whole lot better. But I'm not going to. And here's why I'm not going to. The GPS on it is not the best in the world. It locks into position fine when you fly it and you put you give it some especially in mode two or three speed mode two or three when you come to stop from you need a good 10 meters before it'll stop it just keeps going and then it'll stop and it'll do this until it finds its level you probably can see on the video you're going to watch when that's happened so that's one thing not when I was recording, but when I turned the video off, I decided I'd just have a little fly around with it to take the battery out. And I was yawing left, so I was yawing at some speed, and the thing just stopped, went like that, like that, yawed right, went over to about that angle, and somehow went level again. I managed to get it down and land it. Stupidly for me, I took off again, risked it, and it was absolutely fine. It's all, and it's something to do with yawing. When you yaw and you're not in speed one, it doesn't seem to know what to do with itself. It'll do this, or it'll do that, and just flick itself round. Even in mode one, you can't smoothly yaw. It doesn't possess the ability. It seems to be like a switch that does this. It won't go round and gently go round in a circle. Now, I've said before on my channel that you don't buy these things because it's a GPS camera drone and, that, and I still do believe that because the camera should be a very much a secondary part of this because of what you're paying for it. If you want a camera drone, go buy a DJI Spark. That's your best entry level camera drone. If you want a pure camera drone. If you want something better than this is obviously the MGX products. I love the Bugs 5 that I reviewed the other week. The camera's so much better than this. But even that isn't a camera drone in my opinion. Not, not a full camera drone. So... And I could forgive the camera on this if it if its flying characteristics were good, but they're not. They're really not. The best thing about this thing is so it's so quiet. It's very quiet in the air. You can barely hear it. When you take off, you can barely hear it. Even when you're hovering it just in front of you, when I was videoing it close up, it was really, really quiet. But that is about the only good thing I can say about it. The controller feels not bad at all. The controller feels quite decent it feels a bit cheap in your hand but it, it it does what it's meant to do stick resolution it's difficult to tell when you've got something in gps but there is a bit of lag um the app is ridiculously laggy but i think i showed you that on the it's got no better when you fly it it's actually far worse and it only did about i don't know didn't even do 50 foot i'd have thought before it lost connection so again, not, not great. So the Wi-Fi in here isn't the best either. So for what you pay, if it was 50, 55 quid, I'd probably recommend it to give it a go because yours might be better than mine. I might have got a completely bad model here, but I don't think I did. I think you're getting what you're paying for. Uh, and even at 50, I'd be advised, like, even at 50, 55 pounds, there's a lot better than this. I think it's a Fireland drone. I've seen a couple of videos on that, which is GPS, and that's around £55. It looks a whole lot better than this. Um, the quad doesn't look better. This is, I mean, it does look beautiful. I, I won't pretend it doesn't. It's really nice looking thing. 
but they put that much effort into making this look nice and forgot about the most important bit making it fly well because it's just not for me um, not for the money anyway certainly not for the money it's not even I don't think a great effort I think they could have done so much better and having no effort at all to make any stability in that camera is a bit ridiculous so even on the micro SD card where you record to it looks no better than if you record to your phone um, I don't know why it drops that many frames it's just poor so bit of a downer so I don't want to I don't come on here just to slag products off but I also don't want people to waste the money and I do, I do really think that if you bought this you'd be very very disappointed with it and if it did what it did for me and you were a beginner flyer you'd be taking it home in little pieces because I don't imagine this surviving an accident very well at all it's quite flimsy as a plastic so thanks ever so much for watching hope you have a fantastic weekend and get plenty of flying done I want to show you the video I shot from the camera and also from my GoPro to see what it's like in the air. You'll see from yourself when you look at the camera footage from the drone, it's not great. So, once again, have a great, have a great weekend. See you later. Bye-bye.